it won't be that long until the holidays are upon us, and that means you're going to be visiting family over. This would be the perfect time to be to be calling a Dr. Todd Shatkin. Our Great Look Monday segment is about your smile and what you can do with veneers and implants, uh, any kind of a problem you have. And as a matter of fact, we'll open phones for you right now at 644-9840 and have everything looking absolutely perfect by maybe even Thanksgiving. So welcome back. Nice to have you here. Thanks, Linda. It's always great to be here. Well, it's amazing how quickly you can actually get this work done. A lot of people think they're in for months of work, and that's yeah. just not true. Yeah, we try really hard to take into consideration patient's time because, you know, patient's time is just as important as my time, mm -hmm. and they don't, they don't want to be in the dental office for hours and hours and for multiple weeks and multiple appointments, so we try to get as much done in, in one or two visits as we can. And it's, it's amazing how, how, how non-invasive a lot of this is. We're going to take a look at a couple befores and afters, and you can see for yourself what we're talking about. <clears throat> All right, let's bring up our first picture, and you can tell us about this patient. Okay, this is a young lady who was congenitally missing several teeth, three teeth in her mouth in the front there, two on each side of the front teeth, and then one just behind the left uh, or the right side of your screen, mm -hmm. uh, she was missing a bicuspid. So we did mini implants and veneers. We straightened out those two front teeth. Wow. And we fit some mini implants. The one area was a little narrower, so you can see the tooth is a little bit narrower than the other side, but cosmetically, I think it turned out real nice, and she's thrilled. Wow, let's go to, there you go. There's the before and after. And and, <coughs> and don't forget, this is a, a young lady. This lady is only in her 20s. Yep. There, once you realize these teeth are not coming in, there's no reason to wait until your 40s or 50s if you can possibly think about having this done younger in Right. Right. These are formative years. Yeah, for we her. even start. We even do the mini implants on children as young as 16 or 17. Really? When they, when they get their braces off, once they get ready to do that, they don't have to wear that retainer throughout their teenage years. Well, that's wonderful because yeah. we know we, you know everybody has yeah. horror stories about going through to the prom and everything else. You know, yeah. wearing these kinds of devices. It may not be necessary in your case. Right. All right. We have a second person. This is a before. Yeah, and this is a less less of a dramatic change, but she had a crown on on the left side of your screen on the front that really didn't look great. She had a little space between her front teeth, and we redid that crown and did veneers on the front four teeth and made an improvement. Wow, it's it's absolutely perfect. That's incredible. How great this must feel when you hand that person the mirror and say, take a look now. Yeah, they get very happy. They're excited. And I would imagine that would bring tears to a lot of people's eyes. You know, eyes. this girl didn't look real bad, mm -hmm. but she was bothered by the space and by that smaller tooth. Uh, but some people, you know, walk around covering their hand over mm -hmm. their mouth because they're embarrassed about the way they look. Uh, when they speak to people, they don't want them to look at their teeth, mm -hmm. or they don't smile much during the course of the day. And you know, when people don't smile, they're typically assumed to be not happy. It doesn't necessarily mean they're not happy, mm -hmm. but people say, oh, that person doesn't seem very happy. But when you smile a lot, people think you're happy. And so it's important to have that you know, impression, mm -hmm. first impression. And we want people to know that you'll work with them. You have uh, ways to, to, to let people pay you. There is no reason in this day and age not to get this done. Because don't forget, parents out there, you're role models for your kids. If you think it's, it's important to take care of your teeth, your kids will think it's important to take care of their That's teeth. That's absolutely very true. And so many patients come in and they say, I don't want to end up like my mother or my father with yes. dentures when mm -hmm. I'm 40 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, and so it's imp it is important to, to teach your children, especially if you didn't do a good job with your teeth, that how very important it is to try to save your teeth and take care of them. And and these looks last a long time. We want to let oh, people yeah. know this might even be a permanent uh, a, a, a situation for you. I mean, these these things, the, the materials that they're made out of, they're just wonderful. Yeah, the porcelains can last many many decades. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on the way you take care of your mouth again and whether you, you go to the dentist regularly, they could last you the rest of your life. Right, and you know, with this changing economy, we've got a lot of people who are now training for new positions in life. You have to make that first impression all over again sure. when you're going for that job interview. This is the time to take care of that. Look in the mirror and smile, and if you don't like what you see, you don't have to live with it, and that's what's important. Go and see Dr. Shack and let him take a look at and let you know what he thinks you know he can do for you. You just might 
not be smiling, you know, for years after instead of hiding your face. And we offer complimentary consultation, so you don't have any reason not to come in. Just call our office and uh, we'll get you in for a consultation. We can talk about what you're concerned about, try to help you come up with a solution that helps fit your budget and your what you're trying to accomplish. You know, uh, Dr. Shackin, let's also talk about, uh, we've got kids playing sports in school now, and unfortunately, yeah. even with the very best mouth guards, kids get teeth knocked out. Can you help them with that too? Well, sure. First of all, let's prevent it. Number yeah. one, um, you mentioned the mouth guards. Um, very, very important to wear mouth guards. You see these kids playing contact sports, and they have a mouth guard, but they're like hanging out of their mouth, mm -hmm. or it's stuck on their helmet, or it's hanging from the chin strap and that's not going to help you you've got to wear it and you've got as parents we have to tell our kids you know what if you're not going to wear your mouth guard I'm not going to let you play there you go because you've got to wear the mm -hmm. mouth guard. I say it to my kid I yell at him if you know if it's hanging halfway mm -hmm. in his mouth when he's on the ice I said Jared get that mouth guard in yeah. your mouth so that's very important and there are really good mouth guards now we do the Under Armour athletic mouth guards in our office which are the top of the line they're very very protective from concussions and there's also research research that shows that they actually perform better when the mouth guards in because it opens a bite up and lets more air in. in that, fact that makes a lot of the sense. New Orleans Saints won the Super Bowl they their whole team had the really the uh, type and of you mouth know this guard. is for girls too girls are playing contact sports girls are playing hockey they're playing um, uh, uh, field hockey, it's right. important just because it's your daughter instead of your son. Don't forget to get the mouth guard. Now, of course, mouth guards are not going to prevent every injury, mm -hmm. and you could still get a tooth injured or you can still get a concussion, but uh, people don't realize that mouth guards prevent concussion. It's not just protecting the teeth. I didn't know that. Yeah, because the majority of the time when you have a concussion is because your upper jaw and your lower jaw hit really hard together, and that causes uh, a trauma to the head. Whew. And so if you wear a protective mouth guard, it prevents concussions. Okay, but, but they course, can come in to you if they would like that special mouth guard. Yes, we do that. And also, Good like you said, we can replace teeth if they replace get damaged the or yeah, chipped or case. whatever. Oh, a parent's nightmare. <laughs> and if they do lose <laughs> a tooth, the tooth, if you do lose a tooth, uh, the whole tooth comes out, put it in milk, and bring it to the dentist as fast as you can within an hour. Okay, there and you, you can go. sometimes re-implant that tooth. Good, helpful advice. And everybody, everybody hopefully should be walking around with a beautiful smile. Where can you get it? The Aesthetic Associates Center. Plastic surgery, yes, and dentistry with Dr. Todd Shatkin. Call them right now at 839-1700. They're easily located at 2500 Kensington Avenue in Amherst. Give them a call again at 839-1700.